isn't just about people. This is the ability of people, plant, lands, soils, animals, oceans, to access and absorb the full spectrum of nutrients that our common evolution requires for our vitality. Agriculture, by and large, has depleted a huge amount of the world's soils. 30% of all arable farmland in the world is severely depleted at this point and getting worse every day. Not that farmers are illogical people and they wanted to damage the environment, but farmers are responding to a single set of, of, of signals which were about the marketplace. They were being um, paid to deliver uh, and produce more and more from the landscape in a more efficient way and this is causing a lot of environmental degradation. Just think about you know, all the nutrients that are lost when, when food is grown in, in soil that's not as nutritious as it should be and then the nutrients that are, you know, whatever nutrients are left in that food are depleted even further as, as, uh, as it's shipped around the world and, and there's particular types of food where we import exactly the same as we export. So we think the solution uh, to that is, is getting people to grow, grow their own food. Uh, but we're helping to create an army of people who have an empathy for the, for the process of growing food and that's the crucial point. Any individuals from any walk of life can belong, that, that is producers and farmers and just a, a movement. We've really transformed the farming system in a way that's completely sensible to the farmers. So it's a very effective, practical impact monitoring system, which is essentially a health rating of your field. And each point along that score is worth a certain amount to the farmer. So the higher the health rating, the environmental health rating in the field, the more money the farmer gets. The beef and the meat, well, you know, we're competing with South American farmers and New Zealand sheep farmers, but with our biodiversity, only we can produce it. It's a unique product for ourselves and now we're getting paid for it and this is fantastic. 97% of the women who are farmers do some consumption farming. If women have control over that income, any portion of that income, that has a very direct and clear impact on nutrition. The impact of increasing women's income is 11 times, 11 times than increasing men's income. That's a very, very strong link. But it also means a lot in terms of flipping those people, those communities we're seeing, into being more active change agents, being more creative, being more entrepreneurial, beginning to think, wait a minute, I can come up with new ideas for me and my people that are economically and socially productive. Financial capital increases for the farmers, it's the driver partially, and for the local region, Agriculture is deeply related to another form of capital, which is living capital. Living capital is the plants, the water, the soil, the organic matter, the land. This is the fundamental basis upon which all of us live and eat. This is, as it were, the principal asset for the world. The question for this conference and for the nutrient economy is what does it look like to invest with other forms of capital? How do I invest living capital and do I just get living capital back? Can I invest in intellectual capital and receive social and cultural capital as a return? What are the mechanisms to do that? Mm -hmm.